what's up what's going on welcome back to my channel I'm Amber so for today's video I am so excited because I have a model I love 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 doing makeup on people I have my good friend Tanya here she is hilarious she's a trip we go all the way back to beauty school she's a hairstylist as well so I'll make sure I put her Instagram handle here and down below so you guys can check her out she was sweet enough to be my model today. We are going to do my ever so favorite, my aesthetic, my classic look, my favorite look of all time, natural glam. Just really focusing on the skin. Whenever I do makeup on any of my clients, I always say I don't want to beat the face too hard. I still want the skin to look like skin, all right? So I'm going to show you guys how I achieve this look. Please keep in mind that these are a lot of these products are products that I use for my professional kit. Don't feel like you have to have all of this stuff. You use what you have to achieve your look. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is skin prep. That is key. I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Primer Water just to hydrate the skin. Then we're going to go straight in with Benefit Professional. Tanya doesn't have dry skin. She's more on the oilier side, so making sure that the pores and the face is nice and smooth. Next up, I always start off in the center of the face. So I'll conceal first. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Skin Concealer in Dark Golden. I love this product, and I like to blend it out with the cosmetic sponge. I like these concealers because so far so good they work on all skin types. I haven't had an issue with them creasing on my dry skin clients or sliding off with my oily skin clients. Next up here, this is an optional step. This is something that I personally like to do. I'm taking Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, and this is in the shade Y535. I'm using this on the perimeter just to kind of bronze up the face a little bit and give it more dimension. I like doing this just simply because I feel like it looks more... It looks more realistic than just, you know, a thick layer of foundation, and that's it. After that, I'm going to go ahead and furthermore blend out the rest of it. I'm using Skinny Dips Cosmetics Foundation in the shade Sahara Rose. I love this foundation. It's so beautiful. They are all inclusive beauty, so they have a shade for everybody. It blends out like a dream. It lasts for a long time, and it photographs really, really well. So be sure to check out Skinny Dip Cosmetics as well. And then after I apply foundation, because I do use a brush to apply foundation, but I always go over it with a sponge. Um, sometimes with brushes, you might get a little streakiness here and there, but with any kind of sponge, it's going to really help blend everything out and make it look seamless. Now this here, okay, so this is probably my favorite drugstore product of life, and yes, I am using this on my clients. This is the Maybelline, um, what is it, the highlight highlighting pen. I love it because it just gives that under eye such a bright, nice look. It just brings everything together. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, right? Wow. Girl, is it a runway in here? I'm about ready to walk. Right. What? Sometimes people, they, they, they do oh, too much. They do, they do way oh too much. Oh my God, please don't put 10 layers of makeup please. on my face. No, I don't no, no, want no, 10 no. layers. I want to look natural. Yeah. yeah. Please don't give me, please don't change my skin color. No, don't change my skin oh color. My Let my skin look like skin. Please. Oh my God. Don't try to conceal my damn nose. I got that from my daddy. I'm <laughs> not, I'm not, girl, I'm, I'm making so you much. bright. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, ma'am. So Thanks, dad. Look, I got that from my daddy now. <laughs> She will have a surgery. Anything from the neck down. Don't touch the face. Don't touch the face. Yes. <laughs> Not touch the face, dude. Mm -mm. She's good. She will have a surgery. She's so stupid. She's good. Do not touch my face, honey. Oh. Now, what are we doing here? Now, I'm just setting okay. the face. Gotcha. The um, no MAC more bacon. mineralized skin finish. Okay. All right. So, setting up under the eye with mineralized skin finish because I like this with setting concealer. It doesn't crease, it sets it, and it doesn't get dry or patchy. So I like putting that underneath the eyes. And then with the Sasha Buttercup Cosmetics, you guys know I'm not a fan of baking. I never bake under the eyes. But just along the jawline, just to kind of snatch it up a little bit and give it a little bit more dimension, I will bake a little right on the sides and down the center of the nose. Also, that's just going to bring more dimension and highlight those areas. If you are a Deeper skin tone, it's gonna give you the reverse <laughs> contour. The skin you in, and she do. <laughs> she does. Right. <laughs> Always she, she knows me. She's been knowing me for a long That's time. That's my favorite thing about her. <laughs> her. That's my friend. <laughs> right. I am. We've been friends for forever. My boo now. 
You want big play with those? For real. Look at those cheekbones. Come on, cheeks. Come on, cheeks. Just give it up for the cheekbones, people. Please and thank you. Give it up for the cheekbones. Like snatching. Mmm. A little light snatch. Mm. Like I got a little face lift? Just, I mean. A little lift? A little lift. A little, a little, little, little snatch back action. Yeah, mm. see, it's perfect. Boom. Love it. <laughs> I mowed a little baby hair down for yeah, you. girl. <laughs> I mowed the baby hair. Baby hair is the Check lady. out the hair, honey. Check out the babies. What do you want? <laughs> girl, you better work. Oh, yeah, you better work. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. And you ain't even done my brows. Mm -mm, right? <laughs> <laughs> for blush, we're going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Sun Power. This is great for women of color, especially if you're afraid of blush. It gives you just the just enough pigment to the skin. And then highlighting with Cover FX Candlelight Glow. Now, what is that? Just like a little finishing? Yeah, well, this is a Mario Badescu. Mm -hmm. It's like a... You know how sometimes when you put powder on it, it look too powdery or cakey? Oh, yeah. It just kind of yeah. makes it look more lived in. Oh, gotcha. For brows, we're taking the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 6. And I don't ever do anything crazy with the brows. I simply follow what they have and we just work off of that. Then for eyeshadow today, we're going to jump with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette, taking the dark brown shade. Tanya has bomb eyes. I used to do her eye makeup all the time in beauty school just for fun. But um, just making sure that we put that brown tone right in the crease and then all over her lid because she's just got a lot of real estate. she got a lot of eye space to work with, but we're keeping it simple here. I'm just going to press that gold shade right on the center of the lid and all over the lid. And then after I get that shade on, we're going to blend both of those together. I think where people go wrong is they think with eyeshadow you have to have all these colors and blend this and blend that. It's, it's not. People make it too hard. Take your two colors, get your two brushes, and blend everything out. Next up, I'm taking green eyeshadow. You don't notice that it's green from a far away, but the green eyeshadow on brown skin, especially on women of color, it just gives the eye a little twinkle, just a little pop. Then going in with the orangey tone, and we're just gonna go ahead and buff that into the waterline as well. And then for her lip concoction today, I'm using ABH Lip Gloss in Sepia, and then another shade from the ABH Lip Palette. And that's it. Cheek <laughs> Yes. Perfect. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up the look. I hope you enjoyed it down below. Let me know if you enjoy seeing models on my channel. If I had my way, I would have a model every single time. However, that's not practical, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. Peace.